Hey, we are back with another exciting edition of We Review You, where we review you, our clients, products, and services. Exciting edition today because I have got a new gaming recliner chair. It is the Vitasi model, perfect for anybody wanting to use it for gaming or maybe your theater, arcade, whatever you want to use it for. Comfortable chair, great experience. All right, let's get right into this. Yep, one, two, three, four, five beautiful golden stars. You deserve it, and two thumbs up. If I had another thumb, I'd give it to you, but I'm just telling you now, you guys did a great job, not only on the packaging, but building the most superior chair I've set in so far. So as you've liked, hopefully, and subscribed, and hit that bell, you'll notice that this popped up. You saw a brand new description. If you haven't, make sure you are doing so, so you guys will see when these new products reviews come out. So I'm illustrating a couple things here as I've sped up the unboxing. We spent quite a lot of time on not only building a great chair, but on the packaging of this. Everything had extra foam material on it. As you're following me, you'll see I do great, great reviews. I really am honest. I tell people as it is. I like this chair, but you'll find when we start to unscrew the, or screw, I should say, the casters in here, that it sits very low to the ground, and they're not rollers. To me, I'm not going to knock it because it does slide quite easily, and it does go on quite easily. Um, compared to a chair with rollers, I've had them break before, not casters, but rollers. So maybe you guys could leave a comment and let me know what you think about it. I actually like the casters, and you'll understand when you sit in this, it's going to be low to the ground. You're going to have to get used to it, but not so much lower than a regular chair, and you'll understand when you sit in it. The cushion and the comfortability of this chair make up for it anyway. So anyway, look at that. Bam! One, two, three, four, we're done. Flip the chair back over here. I'm working in the garage because it was a little bit easier to do so. I hope I can do an easier build for you guys. I want to make sure you have plenty of workspace. So that was your step one. You can see here, we're going to put the backrest and the lumbar support on. A little bell indication if you don't know what that means. Make sure you press the bell on the subscribe right beside button and make sure you are getting all notifications. So one thing you guys are going to see here as I'm sliding this is there is a silver track and there is a black track. When you're putting this in, make sure you're using the black track. I don't know why you feel compelled and would want to, but you're going to probably see the same as I did. Right off the bat, you may want to slide it in because the first thing you see is the silver tracks. Flip it open and make sure you are popping it in very easily, just lightly by pushing it down like I'm doing so here illustrated, and it's in place. If you like this video and any of our other ones, I would really appreciate you subscribing to our channel. As we grow, I'd like to get a lot more people out there, more product awareness, more we can grow, more we can show, guys. So, all right, two steps away. These are your very comfy shoulder rests. Kind of reminds me of my old Recaro seats and my Camaro that I had years ago. Um, they do fit you quite well. You're going to notice if you have not had the experience of a nice shoulder rest in a chair, oh, this, the lumbar support and the cushion make best recliner chair I've ever owned. So we followed step one, yes. We followed step two, yep, did that too. Step three, and now we're gonna pop in the final step here, which would be the shoulder rest on your right hand side. And we are just moments away from being able to sit in the most comfortable recliner chair I've ever felt. Could we get to 5,000 likes? Sure, it's doable with your help. Could you guys help me? You can also refer our channel out to people that have products and services that they may want a professional review on. As we grow, you'll find that we're going to be doing some really great reviews. So. All right, we are done. As we usher in a brand new era of gaming chair and comfortability, we're going to say goodbye to our own. Yep, bye-bye. See you later, old chair. Once again, thank you guys so much for you tuning in. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you again on the next review product description in the review thanks for watching take care guys